What's up, guys? It's episode 28 of the FIFA 22 Create a Club Cara Mode with Silla FC. And this is the ninth episode, which means that we have one more episode left before the end of the series. And it has been a very, very interesting and win field run because we have won the Premier League ever since the second season that we were in the Premier League. And that is, that is really cool, which means that we have won it eight times. Wait, so, which means that we have won it seven times. We've won the Premier League seven times, I think. Six. This is going to be, it's going to be the seventh if we win it this year. Yeah, 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 I'm right. Anyway, this is the home kit. Uh, it's navy blue and black like last season, but it's a different kit design. It's still Nike. We're still on the Nike kit. So, actually just, I don't know why I like it. I just like the subtle, the subtle, um, stripes on the home kit and then for the away kit we have gone back to all pink and i mean there is some sort of distortion on the kit but that is that is why i like it transfer target for this season number one is Haaland. number two is either sancho kubo or antufati because uh Suho is or is like he's already dropping. He's on an eighty nine currently, and I would actually love to uh, use him to get a better younger player. All right, there's a transfer offer for for Bellingham from Arsenal, and I think I would also want to get the most of this deal. So I'm going to delegate this and let's drop this down to one sixty, and don't sell the player for less than one twenty. If they are not going to accept that then that is their business okay and they accepted for 130 that is still cool so i'm just going to accept that and whatever bellingham does will determine if he's going to be leaving this club or not but we have one more season so i mean why not get erling Haaland? to be honest it'd be nice to get him and mbappe but you know with 400 and something in the account that is pretty much that's possible but i really don't want to go all out and do that because it's just not going to make any sense though Okay, we want to give them 180 for Suho, and I feel like that is a little bit too much. So let's give them 160 plus Suho. And they they actually want, they actually agree for Suho, and they want 189. So I think we should just take this to 180. Let's see what they say. Okay. Let's give them a sell-on clause of 10% and still bring it down to 80 and we can always just offer again if they don't accept they want 188 i really don't want to give them you know what i mean i could i, I could accept 188 but i'm a cheapskate and i want to uh fine 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 jesus well 188 million pounds plus to hold for holland and that that is a good deal i guess because holland is already like in 93 yeah, he's, he's, he's a 93. And uh, it'd be fun to get him. What was he getting before? They won 200 million pounds for Haaland with a signing bonus of 200, with a signing bonus of 2 million 100 and 8 million 400 for every 20 goals. I really don't like all these bonus things. So I'm just going to remove the bonus and give him 300 for his wage. So, Okay, so they said so Haaland is officially in our team. That is the highlights. That is the highlights of this episode already. So, yeah. Anyways, if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to subscribe and click the bell below to get notified for when I have new videos. All right, Zaid, Haaland, and Greenwood. These three are the guys that our whole attack is going to be riding on. And I just hope that we are able to do something really good in the Champions League this season because we have two seasons left and we can't have just won the Champions League twice. I mean, I don't even know if it's twice at this point because I can't really remember what happened back then, like five years ago. So, just news that Bellingham has been sold to us now already and we are getting 121 million from that deal. I don't know why the board keeps stealing our money. I mean, I am the board. I am the fucking board. So, why the hell am I not getting all of the money? All right, first up is the match against West Ham and we haven't won this community shield in a long ass time. So let's hope that we're able to come to Webby Stadium and get the win. And of course we do. Jovic and Devos get the goals for us. And it's 
it's already looking to be a very good season. I mean, we haven't won the Community Shield. The last time we won the Community Shield was when uh, we won the Champions League. So, might this be a sign? Could this be a sign? Hopefully it is. Alright, you guys can never believe what I just saw. Johan Hartmann, free agent from Switzerland, an 88 rated 22 year old keeper. That is just the first one. This guy is a 90 rated 21 year old keeper from Germany who is 6'5. His name is Justus Horn. But then we have Charles Latham. He's a 90 rated center back that is 6'3. A 90 rated freaking center back that is 6'3 from England. <laughs> and they're all free agents, which means that. I am going to, I'm definitely going to be signing all three of these players into our team. And then I'm going to be getting this Ebay Otero because there's an offer that just came in for Davies that I will be taking. I am, I, I am honestly just shocked at how lucky I am that this could just happen right off the bat. I just feel like, okay, let me just do this scout, the scouts thing. And I did it and this happened. And my mind is officially fucking blown, bro. And this is the swap deal for Davies. They want to give me Usman Dembele. I mean, that is not going to happen because I really do not need Usman Dembele in my team. So, I'm going to delegate, remove that. Let's, wait, what's, what's his uh, value? 155, okay. I'm going to remove the player. Start the offer at 170. Wait, what? And don't show the player for less than 155, okay. That's, that's good. Okay, that should be it for now, so I'm just going to wait for this offer to come in. Meanwhile, I am going to sign these three players. Let's start with you, delegates. We'll have to offer a wage of between 7 to 11. I don't know where these guys came from and how. I mean, there are probably regions for some particular people. I just don't know who they are. Just as Horn, this is probably going to be Neuer or something. And then this guy from Switzerland. I don't know any good keepers from Switzerland. Oblak. Oblak's from Switzerland, right? Fucking Oblak. So I have the region for Oblak and Neuer in my team. <laughs> so that is crazy. Alright, so the first match of the season is going to be against Leicester. I'm not going to be playing the match. I'm just going to be simming it and hoping that we are going to be able to get our first win. And we do not withdraw it. Said and Haaland are two, our two most important players are the ones that got to go in that match. Barcelona accepted 191, basically 192 million pounds for Davies and we're going to be accepting that and it's because we have this guy that I accepted it. Oh, I haven't offered for the year yet. This guy from Arsenal, Ibai Otero and I think I should just do this deal now. I'm just going to drop this to... Okay, here's a... Uh, his wage is 85 normally, so I'm, go I'm, I'm going to start this at 88 and I'm going to leave it like that. And then for these guys, the, he accepted for 30, so now he's officially in our club. This guy accepted for 94, so he's officially in our club now. That is a center back. This guy is freaking tall, by the way, and then this guy is also, also really tall. So we have the best luck because I really, I really did not expect to find these players just at a whim and that's exactly what happened so then this guy is the person that i want to play on the left so he's going to be like a sub for greenwood that is if greenwood doesn't get a transfer so i mean, I mean he's 91 rated so he's going to be really good which means i'm going to have to be rotating the squad like crazy now because we have a we're going to have a lot of players that he went for 230 and then this guy as well just as horn went for 86 he's a, he's a 90 he's a 90 rated keeper and I'm actually really, really surprised that I got this. I, I got this lucky. All right, so the release clause for Ramos has been paid 100 million, basically 101 million, and I really don't mind. So, yeah, they can they can take him for that amount. And then there's, a, there's an offer for Araha, which I'm obviously going to ignore. And then Davies has been sold. The next match is against Watford. We're at home, so let's hope that we can actually get a different result. 
this time around. And here we do meet Lanell, James, and Aura Hall. The most unlikely of people to score are the ones that scored in this match. And I really don't mind as far as we're winning games. Okay, so okay, so these Arsenal guys are finally accepted for 129, 500, and I really don't mind. I have I have a lot of money to spare, so this guy is supposed to be getting 125, and 125 is what he's going to get. That's if he doesn't ask for more, but that should be okay. Ramos has been sold to Napoli, so I get 94 million from that. Uh, this guy's scar report has finally come in, and then these guys have accepted. So Ramos has been sold, and I'm going to be getting 94 million from that deal. And then these guys have finally accepted for 125. He actually did accept for 125, and now he's officially in our team. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six new players in our in our squad this season, and. I guess it's time for us to have two different team sheets so we can actually rotate the squad very well. Alright, so this is what the first team is going to look like. Greenwood, Haaland and Zaid up top. Then Devo, Kamavinga and Foden are going to be in the middle. Then Otero, Alvarajal, Upamecano and Bakari at the back with Donnarumma in the goal. The subs, Horn, the new guy Latham, McKenney, James, Vitz, Villain and Jovic. Then the second team, we have Villain, Jovic, and Houghton Odoi at the front. Kamavinga, Vertz, and Bakari in the midfield. Then Otero, Arahal, Latham, and Rhys James are going to be at the back for. And Horn is going to be in goal. And this time, Hartman is going to be the one on the bench. As well as Devo. For the, okay, Devo is not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be a sub defender, which is Upamikano here. Yeah. So Hartman, Upamikano, Foden, McKenney, Greenwood, Zaid, and Haaland. Alright, I doubt I'm going to be doing any new transfers or any other transfers. So, we are basically done. So, I'm going to be sending all the way to this Napoli match. This will be the first match that I will play. I think I'm, I'm going to play both legs of the uh, Napoli match in the Champions League for this half of the season. And then I will figure out which one I'm going to be playing for the next. We've won all our, ma all our matches so far. And that's the first draw against us now. We beat them in the Carabao Cup. We also beat them in Burnley as well. Then, 3-2 to... to, to to that club but i have no idea who that is we lost to chelsea that is that is sad and then it is now time for the match against napoli so just a quick look at what our youth academy looks like we have um daniel schwartz we have nathan baxter we have martin morrell i mean i'm not going to say all of these names but i just have let me just point out the ones that are actually interesting this guy matthew kraut he's 66 rated and he's uh, potential is within like is within 76 to 94 so that is something th this is someone I have to look out for then this guy Oscar Stacy he's 60 and his potential is 82 to 95 this guy's potential is fucking beastly and that is why he's one of the players to watch out for this guy too Diego Barbosa from Brazil his potential is 82 to 88 his overall is still is still shaky although his this guy is just fucking 15 though <laughs> anyways I decided I'm not going to be playing this match. I'm just going to do a quick sim of it and then I'll play the second leg. And hopefully we win this one. We do not. We lose it. Our house scores as well as Foden. I have... I, I really think that we shouldn't have lost that much. But, you know, it happened. Alright, the next match we're playing is just right around the corner against Napoli. We do win against Leeds and QPR respectively. Then we get the win against Newcastle. So now it's time for this particular annoying ass match. Alright, so it's time for the match against Napoli and I want to actually check out this villain and Latham guy to see how good they are. I think I might even switch Donnarumma with the new keeper, Horn. Let's see how good he is for this match. And, uh, well, Devo is the captain because Suho is no longer in our team. And, I mean, it's supposed to be Upamikano, but he's not on the field, so... Devo is like the interim captain, kind of. So, I mean, it should be Devo because Devo is like an OG in the team. Him, Zaid, and uh, Al Rahal. So, and Bakari as well too. So, you know, either one of those four are like huge candidates for the captain of the team. It's just one more season, so it really doesn't matter. Or rather, it's two more seasons. The episode after this is the last season anyway, so... If you guys are enjoying this video so far, make sure to smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys after this match.
And this Champions League group stage contest commences. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Well denied by the keeper. I spoke too soon. Good recovery to win it back. through here and a goal now they have the opener and now they can celebrate well here's the replay and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back while the movement in the box is equal to it it's such good timing what is clear Crossing opportunity. Oh, my goodness! What an outrageous hit! I can't believe he took it on from there, and neither can the goalkeeper. Well, let's take another look, because this is a special goal. He's so far out when he strikes it. He couldn't have hit that any better. To that attack. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a... Bowden. And it goes! A three-goal cushion, and you truly sense it's a matter of how many. Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. Well, interesting to follow the speculation concerning Manchester United, namely that they could be about to add to the squad in an exciting way, Stuart. Well, according to reports... Oh, then... Stuart, an opportunity! Another goal! The lead draws to four now! Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. You can join us for this game. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be an entertaining match. And it's come off the keeper, and a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate. He's really going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Time for a change, then. An effective challenge. Holland. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult, it's some brilliant attack in play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. Holland. Oh, a lovely ball. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Played over. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent... Holland. Back to Holland. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really. Boga and clears his lines and there it is the final whistle the home fans and that was a huge win and
that just shows how dominating we are going to be this season because we have beaten a team this good 6-0 and yeah that guy that just left our team Ramos he was 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 surprisingly in this team and <coughs> well <laughs> he's probably regretting leaving us right now even though I was gonna put him on the transfer window but, but still the next match I'm going to be playing going to be the second half of the season is I'm, I'm going to be focusing mainly on Champions League matches so I'm most likely going to play three of them in the next season most likely the the uh quarterfinals the semi-finals and the finals so okay so we have beaten manchester manchester city 2-1 match against norwich shouldn't really be a problem and it wasn't valencia we beat them 1-0 that was pretty close all right so it's the match against west ham and i'm going to be using my second team the reason why i'm doing this is because i want to check who wins the ballon d'Or for this season so i'm going to be looking at all of this so I'm going to be semi matches this way until I can find where the Ballon d'Or is presented. So Kamavinga, Villain, and Jovic are the ones that score in this match. I forgot to talk about Jovic in the previous match. Just sorry, Villain in the previous match just scored. He actually did really, really well to get himself the first goal scored by me, and it's pretty good to see that. Uh, it's pretty good to see that we're actually on the top. Although Manchester United is trailing us with three points. It's still it's, it's still pretty cool so the candidates for the Ballon d'Or this year are Mbappe, Zaid, Rivera and Greenwood and to be honest I think Zaid is going to Zaid might just be able to take it this season but I'm not really sure because he wasn't able to get over 30 goals last season but I just hope he's going to be able to get his fifth Ballon d'Or that is going to be crazy all right time for the match against Liverpool I'm going to be using my first team and let's see what the result of this match is going to be we obviously beat them Devo and Haaland are the ones that get to go in this match next up is the match against the team that I cannot pronounce their name I'm not even going to try and do that so I'm going to be using my second team this time around and it really shouldn't be a problem because I mean this yeah they they completely they completely fucked them up the Jovic scored the first goal Villan missed the penalty Villan scored again Villan wow that means he scored a party hat trick this guy is actually pretty Pretty OP if you ask me. And the player of the year has been announced is Greenwood, and it sucks that Zaid is not going to be the one that wins it. And I'm pretty sure he won it last year. I just forgot to check. And because because the year prior he actually did really good. And well, Greenwood won this year. Is still the Ballon d'Or is still coming to Zilla FC. So this is just this just shows the greatness of our team. Now the Champions League fixtures for this year have not for next year have not been announced yet so i'm just going to send to the 31st of january we lose against southampton that is that that is very unexpected we win against spurs we beat norwich on penalties we draw against manchester united that that is not good i don't i don't really like that we win manchester city we beat watford we beat swindle town and just so that the first leg the second leg of the Champions League round of 16 goes to be against Bayern. If we do well in the first leg, then I might not play that one. And I, I really hope we do well in the first leg. So we are through to the finals, or rather quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. Or rather semi-finals, rather. Or we are through to the finals, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what we do against Bayern. We, we lose the match that means that we, we absolutely have to play play that match we just won the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup and this okay was that the FA Cup I'm not quite sure and this is going to be the Carabao Cup so so I'm going to be simming this all my first team Donnarumma is injured so Horn is going to have a chance at first team football for a while and I'm not really making any changes to the starting lineup here, so let's see what they're going to be able to do against us now. And we do win it. Oh, this was even the FA Cup crap. <laughs> this was the FA Cup. I I I, I did I did not notice. And what do you know? That match against Manchester United was actually the finals of the Carabao Cup, and we won it. So if we win the Premier League, the Champions League, and the FA Cup, they are going to be having a quadruple this season. We have never done that before. And it's going to be very interesting to do. We're currently still first. We are now over 10 points away from Manchester United. So I don't really have a problem 
with Premier League matches for now. I mean, anything else will happen, but I doubt that we're going to be losing any matches anytime soon. I hate to say that we have injury issues, but that's exactly what we are having right now. I really wonder why this Otero guy hasn't increased. I don't think I did the development schedule for him, but I'm, I would have to check that out later. Uh, Foden is injured and Donnarumma are injured, and those are two really key players. Although we still have a really, really good squad here. The only person I would say is maybe a weak link is Otero because he's less than a 90. <laughs> and he's so high. He's, he's on 87, which means that this team is actually fucking crazy. We have bad history with Bayern in this competition. And I just hope that this can be our turnaround season. We absolutely have to win this match. If we do not, that's going to be so fucking sad. And this is our chance. This is our season to get our hands back on that trophy. So if you guys are enjoying this video so far, make sure to smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. And even if you are a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed, just click the bell. So click the button and click the bell and also comment on what you would like to see in the future on my channel. And I'll talk to you guys after this match. Bayern Munich. Well, Derek, Bayern deserved their win in the first leg. But this is going to be a really tight battle today. Let's just hope it's a good game and full of attacking quality. starting 11 for Blades. And now this Champions League round of 16 second leg is underway. It's been pretty well impossible to escape all the news stories surrounding him ahead of today's match. Taking on his old club, and that can bring with it a few complications. Well, for some reason... Well, well they might score here, Stuart. And a goal! 1-0, and what a fast start they've made to this game. So the aggregate advantage, 3-1. Greenwood. Holland. Must score. In it goes to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here it is again. And it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. Many people have been focusing on ahead of this particular game. If you believe the stories coming out of the camp. Oh, it might be. And what a magical save it was. Holland. Zaid. This looks more than decent. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with such a drop of the shoulder. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Sure. Nothing to keep. Decent position. The fans keen on a shot here. Full credit. Wonderful stop. short corner here and he takes on the shot well the keeper had a lot of ground to cover splendid save in the short corner let's see and whipped into the box oh it's an own goal 
a moment he would love to be able to forget. Well, as you can see, it came off him last, and as a result, it will be an own goal. So unfortunate. A substitution. Well, the referee making it clear on a different day, it could have been a booking. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Oh, in with a chance! Here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Kimmich, superb block. Not covering up defensively. Still a chance. <laughs> it's a substitution for Bayern. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And first class defending cleared off the line. It's still there for him. Defended well. Five minutes left. Chances on. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Keeper's ball. Joshua Kimmich. There's the final whistle. The home fans are And finally, we have defeated Bayern in the Champions League finals. <laughs> it was such a frustrating match, but we were able to grab the win that was needed. And we are through to the quarterfinals. I hope it's not against a super hard club. I really hope that's not the case. So, all right, so our next match is against RB Leipzig. Rather, our next match in the Champions League is, is against RB Leipzig. So, I'm going to be sending to that day. We draw against West Ham. Let's just hope we can get favorable results in the Premier League till then. We draw against Liverpool as well. We, Jesus fucking Christ. We lose against Leipzig. We defeated Manchester United. I'm, I'm going to save this match. But I just absolutely hope. I'm, I'm betting everything on this one match. Because I really don't want to play it. So let's just hope that we're able to win this. Alright. So we're going with this team. Wait, this is not the best team that I can throw out there. Let me throw out the best team. Okay, so Kamavinga is just going to come in. Uh, Upamecano, this guy has got seen the better of Upamecano, to be honest. He's, he's on a better rating now. And to be honest, chill. I think, I think I'm just going to do this. Okay. Uh, Upamecano should just, rather, yeah, this, this should just happen because Abraham plays really well on the wings because he's actually pretty fast for a defender. So, this is what I'm going to do. This is going to be the best team that I can throw out there. And let's just hope that they're able to come out with, with a very, very, very favorable result. All right, fingers crossed. And yep, we are able to come out with the win. Zaid and Aura How are the ones that get the goals for us this time around. All right, so our next match is against Barcelona. And we're going to, be, we're going to have to be seeming that as well. And... I really, I'm really hoping for this uh, quadruple win. I'm not going to be able to see the result there, but let's see what we're going to be able to do here against Barcelona. We win the match 3-0, so this match is not going to be our problem. We're just going to sim past it. I mean, I don't want to sim it with that thing. I want to use this one to sim it. Haaland has a red card. What the fuck? All right, for the meantime, Villain is going to play the Haaland position, and when Haaland comes back, I'm going to have to put him back in the starting eleven. Alright, so we are currently winning against Barcelona 3-0, so this really should be a walk in the park. I hope so, and yesterday is win them 2-1, Zaid scored 
a brace in this match. I really, I'm, I'm really, I really am tempted to see if Haaland or Zaid have the highest amount of goals this season or Devo. But I just want to like chill and wait for the perfect moment. <sighs> so the FA Cup final is against Brentford. I mean, it looks like it's an easy match, but these guys are actually fucking jacked. And I think, honestly, I think that I'm going to play that match against Leicester City to lift the Premier League trophy. Or, or no, I, I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Anyways, because, I mean, we've lifted it every single fucking time, so there's really no need seeing that. Straight to this match, I apparently forgot to put Haaland back in the game. I can't believe that this guy is still... It's still injured, Donnarumma. So there's really nothing else to do here. Latham, I think I just permanently put him in the team. And then Upamecano is just going to be in the second team this time around. So I think I'm I think I'm good with what we have right now. So let's see what we're going to be able to do. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that we win this. And yes, we do. Jovic is the one that came on for Haaland. Or that came on for, for Greenwood and was able to get us the win in the 86th minute. That was a really, really close one. But we have a treble already. We, oh no. Well, officially, we have a treble. We have the Premier League. We have the English treble. We have the domestic treble. So all that's left is the Champions League. All right, so we're going to be sailing to the Champions League match, and it's against... An... <laughs> okay, I really, I, really, I really wasn't expecting a loss there. And, of course, we win the final match of the Premier League. And there you have it. We have won the Premier League with 88 points, 27 losses, 7 draws, and 4 games. We did win the Community Shield, and at the beginning of this series, I said that we won the Community Shield, so this is, this is going to be like a really, really good season. We did, and we were able to get the FA Cup right after that. We were able to get the Carabao Cup as well. So what is left for us is this bad boy. We're facing Atletico Madrid. I, I don't know if this is the first time we're facing them or not, but... We have to, we absolutely have to show them who's boss. We, have, we absolutely have to go out on that pitch and fuck him up. That's really all I can say. All right, so it is time for the UEFA Champions League final. This is the final match. This is the final match of this season, and it's the most important match of this season. Atletico Madrid is going to be coming in here stacked, and we just have to counter that and grab the victory we have not won this trophy in a long ass time and this is the opportunity for us to clinch it i'm not really good at pep talks and i know i'm talking to a computer screen right now but each and every one of these players greenwood is not starting he'll be coming in later each and every one of these players have to give their best in this match and if they do not start going to be fucked up so let's just hope that we can get back to the European glory that we once used to bathe in. So, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers and click the bell, turn on the post notifications and also share the videos to your friends and family and everybody who wants to share it to and comment. So, I'll talk to you guys after this match is over. Hopefully, we'll be happy and we'll not be in tears. to look at the starting 11 for Blades. Here are the starters for Atletico. 
Well, 4 4 2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. And on occasions, his goal tally is really, really good. He looks a threat whenever he gets the ball. And his movement's been excellent. I'm sure he'll add to his tally today. And they're going to have to mark Oh, wait a win. moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. Oh, in it goes! The opening goal in the UEFA Champions League final. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Takes it on. And still danger here. His fans won't tire of seeing that again. Oblak with the save. Now sending it in. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it up. And there will be one minute added on at the end. And will it be the leveller? Really good diving save. Now the delivery, and the danger clear. Crossing into the middle, superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a your opponent. Holland, real chance, and he's gone for power. So close to finding the net. Real bargain here. He's such a good player, and he brings so much to this team. This is a really great deal for the club. Van der Beek. Felix. Oh, good use of the ball. Can he get them level? Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, he shows a lot of composure here. He just gets enough on it. That's a good finish. and he snuffed out the danger Eduardo Camavinga Holland see some progress with the ball at his feet opportunity here oh wonderful save well he reacts so quickly there that's a great save and deciding to go short with this one gives it a go can they put it away Bowden. This looks promising. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Oh, a nice looking pass. Oh, there it is. There's the goal that gives them the lead. Just what they wanted. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So a personnel change then. It's a short corner. It looks promising. And making the run to the inside. Holland. This could finish it. A goal! And that is going to be that. Name on the trophy for certain.
Well, I have to say, that's a really composed finish. He had to get that absolutely right. He certainly did that. A couple of additional minutes at the end here. So, Bosloy. Joao Felix. And it's still on for him. Teammate and support. Well, fantastic reflex action. And there it is. Full time. They are the Champions League winners. It's not a complete match if Zaid doesn't do something crazy at the end. He's the one that completely let us off the hook. And these guys played so fucking well. Every single one of them played so well in this match. To be honest, I'm speechless because this was something that has been that we've been working for, we've been working for it for so many years. I don't even know what year we last won the Champions League, but these guys have been have been grinding and doing everything. I have been grinding and trying to get the right set of players, and we have finally. Why has my game frozen? Okay, okay. We have finally done it. I, I was thinking that it just froze up on me and, you know, it's going to, like, not save. But we're good. We're going to be lifting the Champions League trophy soon. And Devo is going to be the one lifting it. Rivera has lifted it. It, it was Rivera. It was Faulkner. Then... It was Faulkner. Then somebody else. Then Suho. And now Devo is going to be the one that's lifting the Champions League final. Champions League trophy. And there we go. We have... Finally won it. Sorry about that glitching thing that's happening. I have no idea what is causing it. But <sighs> this is like I know I have won this trophy before, but it's just so the game is frozen again. It, it's just it just feels so good when it just feels so good when you win this trophy to be honest. Right after you worked so so freaking hard. With your own supporters. Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe. Anyway, so that, that was a very, very good match against Atletico Madrid. And we are we're actually deserving of that win. And as we all know, right after we are done... Wait, Zaid was not even the top scorer in the Premier League. That that sucks. Him and Greenwood were at 18. Devo, Devo, Devo is actually looking pretty promising this time. So let's just take a look at the stats and see who and who is going to be winning the Godzilla, or rather the Zilla FC player of the of the of the season. And it's Zaid, as usual, he was able to get 37 goals this time. He's back on top, so there's a probability that he's going to be winning the Ballon d'Or in our last season, next episode. And uh, Devil came right right behind him with 32 goals. Devil was actually doing pretty, pretty good because he was actually the top scorer in the Premier League in, in the team again. And Greenwood got 24. Haaland got 11 goals. I mean, it's... it's, it's it's not great, but it's okay. No, it's, it's not okay at all for a player of the standard, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe it's because uh, Zaid is in the team that he's not really shining that much. Foden got 10. That is also pretty good. Bakari got 7. That is pretty nice. Kamavinga got 6. Villain got 5 in his first season. And to be honest, this, this was actually a very, very, very good season. And this is exactly where I'm going to be ending the episode. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on the post notifications. We are on our on the road to a thousand subscribers, and I really need you guys to subscribe and subscribe and subscribe until we are able to get to that 1,000 mark, and I will be happy. <laughs> so stay tuned for the next episode. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to be uploaded, but you know, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. 
And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the... Opening goal in the UEFA Champions League final. Zaid. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. The corner kicks keep on coming. Really good diving save. Crossing into the middle. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. For power, so close to finding the net. Oh, good use of the ball. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser! Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Opportunity here. Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. what they wanted Holland a goal and that is going to be that name on the trophy for certain